Happy Monday, everybody. Welcome to week four of SLS 2264. We're going to, as usual, take a little brief uh, travel through what's going on this week and what has been going on and all of those fun things. So let me go ahead and we're going to look at the syllabus first, as usual. Um, just it helps to orient ourselves in time, even though we're still fairly close to the beginning of the semester. It is easy to get lost. So we are beginning module two this week. Um, last week, we finished our first official module, which was getting started. And then um, the unit one information for uh, from the Phi Theta Kappa resource, which was developing a personal leadership philosophy. You had two assignments due uh, at the end of last week. Well, really one due. And then the others were the responses to um, the second discussion board. So not an official assignment that you have to turn in, but you need to have gone back and responded to your fellow students on discussion board number two. So you should have by now two of your own <clears throat> discussions posted. One in um, week one, which was the basically the getting to know you one. And then in week two, we did the second one. And then of course, you always have a week after that to respond to your fellow classmates. So you should have responded uh, to both one and two by now, as well as having posted them. So this week, the discussion cycle starts over again, and you're going to have a discussion board this week. It's the only thing due this week. However, I want to point out, we're going to go into it a little bit more in the module, but you should be starting the readings and videos in the first week of each module, even though the journal is not due until the end of the second week. The, the point of those is to uh, not do it all at the last minute. I had an awful lot of emails at the end of last week about how to find the material and blah, blah, blah. And why can't I get in because it's free and it's not free and I don't understand. I realized that if you're listening to this video and watching this video, I am probably preaching to the choir. Um, but you've got to take some, some ownership. Uh, I had shown how to find the free resources in every video that I had posted so far. And I still had people at the last minute, not understanding where to find the free resources. If you want the free resources, they are readily available. Um, I personally, if I were taking this class would, uh, spring the $10 and get the, uh, Phi Theta Kappa membership uh, thing. So I could, I could click on the links that are fancy, but they're right there. They're not hidden. Um, again, I know that if you're watching this video, I, you were probably not one of the people that emailed me at the last minute last week. But um, one of the reasons I spend so much time doing these videos is because I want you to get the most out of the course. And part of getting the most out of the course is to not wait until the last second to do those readings and videos. Um, I give them to you a week before you have to do the journal so that you can take your time with them. And I really want you to embrace that. Okay. Um, each of the modules until we get to the ones that have more stuff in them, like the research paper are two weeks. You have the first week where you should be doing the reading and watching the videos and go ahead and start taking notes for your journal. You'll have a discussion board and then the next week you'll write the journal, but you should already have the journal pretty much done by then. Um, so anyway, enough with my, enough with my sermon. All right. So let's go to the modules and we will turn on the student view. So it looks the same way that you will see it. And like I said, we're starting module number two. So let's go to the learning materials first. And I'm going to show this one more time. And um, if anyone emails me about how to get the resources, I'm going to, um, I'm not going to answer the email anymore. <laughs> Just, it's like at work, those of you who have uh, had this experience will know when you've said something at least three times and you uh, you can't get this one person to understand it. So you start every email from then on with per my last email. So same thing. 
we're talking about servant leadership this week, and this is usually almost everybody's favorite. Um, it is really fascinating. We don't think of leaders as being servants. We don't think of servants as being leaders, but servant leadership is a really rich area of research. And so um, I think you're really going to enjoy the readings and videos from this unit. There, uh, there are some names that are going to be very familiar to you, such as Harriet Tubman um, and Mahatma Gandhi. Uh, there are going to be some names that are maybe not as familiar to you that you're going to see in the, especially in the TED talks, but you're going to, you're going to enjoy, um, you're going to enjoy this information. The video, the movie that goes with this unit is the video or the movie called Hidden Figures. If you haven't seen it, I do highly recommend it. There is another video, uh, another movie that used to be used with this unit um, starring Don Cheadle called Hotel Rwanda. Um, which is also a really good one for uh, for servant leadership. So if you're interested and you want to do um, want to do some additional movie watching for it, uh, those are two really good ones that you can um, that you can focus on. So as usual, we have the links to the PTK Moodle course, and right above them, there's the page. Um, it's always there. It's always in exactly the same place. So you will do the readings and the and watch the videos um, from the materials. And I'm going to click on the free version um, again, because there it is. Uh, there's some links within that to videos, especially, of course, once you get down to the TED Talks. Um, there's some additional information on civil disobedience and all kinds of fun stuff. Like I said, most people really enjoy this unit. Um, so dig into it. Start this week. Do not wait until next week when your journal is due um, and you will not have any regrets about that. Um, so there's also, of course, a lecture for you to view. And then finally, we'll go back to the modules to get the grades. Um, so learn before you earn. Make sure you do all the learning materials. And then in um, the discussion board this week, <clears throat> excuse me, you're doing a um, an activity called value sort. And several of you have already posted on this, so it's fairly self-explanatory. Um, but you have a printable here that you can use. You don't have to print it, but you can download this and print it out and, and shuffle things around. Um, I find it helpful to have it on a piece of paper. But uh, essentially, you're going to be making some decisions about what you value in leaders. Um, and those values are going to be chosen from this list. I'm going to just do the preview version here. but you can download this and print it. Um, there we go. So we have a whole list of values um, and a little bit of you know definition of what each of those means. You're going to pare it down to your top five and then you're going to choose which is your absolute must have in a leader, all right? So that's what you're doing this week. Um, a lot of your classmates have already gotten started. So if you want some inspiration, you can take a look at that as well. So that's your only assignment this week. But as I said, one of the things that I would do, the whole point to the journals is that it's like a reading journal, except for we don't have just readings. We have videos, which is why I can't call it a reading journal. Um, but you should be taking notes on the things that you write, read all throughout the two weeks. And then it should be a snap to put your journal together. Each journal assignment, remember, is five paragraphs or more. You have to have an introduction. You have to have a conclusion. You have to have at least three lessons that you've learned or takeaways. Those are your body paragraphs. And they can't all be from the same reading or video. They have to be from at least two. Most people do three because it's easier, less and less and less. And that's fine. All right. We'll go over it again next week. <clears throat> because there's no journal due this week, but I want you to be taking notes this week as you're doing the readings and watching the videos to get ready for that, okay? So that's it. That's all that's going on this week. Fairly easy, easy breezy. If there is something though from weeks one through three that you have not submitted, please submit it as soon as possible. Some points are always better than no points and do not be afraid to reach out for assistance. I kind of joke about not answering emails. I will always answer the emails. Um, I might get frustrated sometimes when I know it's something that I said in the video or on the page, but you know, it happens. Um, reach out if you need help. 
don't forget about the um, uh, ask anything discussion or the Q&A discussion, I should call it, um, for the class related questions. Nobody's used it yet, but that's a really good resource to ask questions as well. Um, and I think that's it for now. If anybody has any questions, uh, please let me know and I will see you back here next Monday. If not, everybody take care. Have a great week.